Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the broil element. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new broil element. The main reason you'd be changing out the broil element is if it's shorted out and it's no longer heating the oven. To remove the oven racks, open up the oven door and pull the oven racks out. In order to take the broil element out, we have to first remove the screws that hold the bracket to the top of the stove. We have to remove the two screws in the back wall. Once you have the screws out, you can slowly and carefully pull the element out. Make sure that the wires don't pull off the element. Once you get the element out, the wires that they give you are very short, so you want to take and wrap something around it so it doesn't fall back inside the oven, and if it does, you can pull it out. And then you can disconnect it from the element. On this side, our wire came off the connector and went back inside the oven. If your wires fall off and go back inside the oven, you're going to have to remove the rear panels in order to get access to the wires to shove them back through the front holes. Once you have the screws out, we can go ahead and lift the panel off. Here's the wire that came back out through the hole in the back of the oven. So you need to find a clear path through the insulation into the back, back through the hole in the oven and then have somebody put a twist tie around it to hold it in place like the other side. Here's the new broil element. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Okay, when you're putting the element back in, you're going to have to pull out on the wire and grab it with the needle nose and then connect it onto the element. Once you have it on there, you have to get the wire off. Go ahead and hook this side up the same way as the other side. Once you have it connected to the connector, remove the wire tie. Once you have the wires connected, you have to guide the element back through the holes in the wall of the oven. Once you have it back in place, we can put the screws back in to hold it in place. Now that we have the element in place with the two screws that hold it to the upper oven, we can go ahead and put the back screws in. Now that we're done with the repair, we have to put the back of the oven back on. The top goes into this tab right here. And the bottom has to go underneath this other panel at the base. Once you have it lined up, you can put the screws back in. Last thing we have to do is put the racks back in. And close the door. Now that you're finished repairing your electric range, you can plug it back in and test it out. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.